Good morning everybody, today we will do a tutorial about optimization in Aspen Plus. My name is again Merten. When there are any ideas for a better tutorial, please send me an email. So, um, the tutorial is subdivided into three different steps. First of all, we will do a very simple flow sheeting of our chemical process. Then after, we will do the optimization and last but not least, we will do a constraint optimization. As I said, the chemical uh, process is easy. It's quite it's the same process as in the sensitivity tutorial. What we have is uh, ethanol CO2 stream entering a flash um, unit um, and CO2 and ethanol are separated. So let's start our flow sheeting. We open Aspen Plus and this is the starting page. So new, we start with a blank simulation, which will take some seconds. So our components are again ethanol and CO2. Our thermodynamical method should be again unifac. I will not explain everything in detail because we have done it before in another tutorial. So our streams ethanol CO2 is our inlet stream. One of our product stream is our is our CO2 rich stream and of course our ethanol. So let's declare the settings. The temperature is 25 degrees and 100 bar is the pressure of the inlet stream. The mass flow should be 100 kilogram per hour and the mass fraction of both components should be 50%. So 0 0.5 as a mass fraction. The settings of uh, our flash unit uh, should be 25 degrees Celsius inside the column and as an initial value we say that uh, the pressure should be reduced from 100 bar to 1 bar inside the flash column. So let's try it. If our unit is working, yes, without problems. So for implementing your optimization you can find in the model analysis tools um, under sensitivity optimization. There we go. Um, again, we create a new ID. So this is our optimization. We can have several optimizations in our Aspen model. Let's have uh, let's define our flow sheet variables in the define section. So once, of course, is the concentration of uh, the CO2 in the CO2 uh, product stream. So we name it CO2. Mm. Yes. So we have to declare under we have to declare this as a stream, and we find the uh, for the stream also here it's of course a CO2 and the component is also CO2. So the other um, variable is the ethanol. It's again a stream and we go into mass flow. So there's one tricky thing. You can either define it as a mass flow or as a stream bar. I show you this. Here the type I define it now as a stream bar and I would put here ethanol inside variable mass flow and so on. So in general this is the same. I mean you you define the same in general but the optimization will have problems with this when you have two different types of uh, variables. Um, so therefore we go with the mass flow. It's the same again and as a CO2 flow 
from the definition type wise so and of course we want to have also look at the pressure in our results what is the pressure in the flash unit and this we have to declare under blocks as a block variable b1 is our block our variable is press the pressure drop inside the column so here we go this in general are our um, variable which we will um, observe during our optimization so we ha want to maximize our um, we want to optimize our profit of course so we name it profit therefore um, in the first step we would want to have an optimization without those constraints we will vary in our optimization the, pr um, the pressure inside the column so this is the block bar the type is the uh, so the block is B1 of course and then the variable is press the pressure drop and we will give them an upper and a lower bound from one hand from one to eighty bar. So and then again we have to define our our objective function inside the, the fraud run environment as profit which equals um okay let's do it like this. Um it's the same as in the sensitivity tutorial so when there are any questions so have a look in this one so we will have the same objective function so here we go so you can see everything is blue and this means the optimization is now finished so just try it and let's run it so no errors, no warnings so to see our results we can either go into the um, optimization environment and have a look here in the results so we see the, the initial values and the final values um, here of CO2 and ethanol and the pressure and when we want to see our profit or our objective function we go into convergence here and uh, convergence and solver so we can see our objective function with which is 1683 that means our profit is 1683.48 dollar per hour In our last step of the tutorial we want to include, include a constraint optimization therefore we have to go under the folder model, model and analysis tools under optimization and here in the folder constraint we will find the option so we create a new ID we want to um, constrain our pressure inside the flash unit so we name it pressure of course and the definition is again the same blocks block var and b1 and press so now we define our constraints our specification here is pressure and let's say the pressure inside the column should not be under 4 bar so we can select different, different types of uh, constraints so once we have here uh, equality constraints which means it should be equal to something in this point it would be equal 4 which would mean the pressure could be only 4 but we said we want that the pressure is not under 4 bar so it should be greater than or equal to 4 so and the tolerance of should be 0.01 so let's try it now we have included a constraint what happened 
So and we get a warning because we forgot of course something. In our optimization we have to include our constraints. Here we see available constraints. Here we have to include or also select these constraints. When we don't want to select the constraints we also have to turn out here the constraints with a right click and you deactivate it. It looks like this in the end. But of course now we want to include our constraint. Activate it. And here you can see now we selected also the constraints. So this was the last step. Let's try it again. And voila. It's solved. You can see here the results, or either here. Let's click here. We see the pressure it's, has this initial value at 1 and its final value is at 4. This is not surprising because the uh, optimum is something around 3 bar. So, of course, here he will take the pressure where the profit is also. Um, at highest. So we can also go into convergence and have a look here. And here our objective function has now a value of 1681. And here you can also see everything uh, regarded to the iterations. So in general this was a tutorial. I hope you learned something. I wish you fun with optimization and don't don't go crazy with troubleshooting of course have a nice day